afternoon, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update. And currently we have all the U.S. indices trading to the upside. The Dow is up 213 points, six tenths of a percent. The S&P one and a quarter percent, 55 points. NASDAQ two and three tenths, 334. Russell's up 2 percent, 39 points. Semi's up a whopping three and a half percent, 118 points. The upside trend is up 137. That's about 1 percent. Gold is trading out at 1796. That's up 12 bucks. And silver, 2245. She's trading up 14 pennies. Lights recruit up a buck. Trade at 87.80. Let's go spend a little time with our indice charts as we do during the 2 p.m. update. And uh, give me a moment here to switch panels. And as we do that, on the upper left-hand side, you'll see the Dow Jones Industrials. Now, in the case of the Dow, it has a buy the D point. That was last Monday when it generated that bullish hammer candle. On uh, Friday, this generated a Rhodes Momentum Indicator signal with that big old bullish engulfing candle. As long as price closes above its red oscillator and change line, that's at 34.831. Price should continue to move higher. In the case of the S&P 500, just one bottoming signal. That was the buy the D point. That was Monday's hammer candle. Prices above the, uh, its oscillator and change line and it closed above 44.63, which suggests the rally would continue. What it also suggests, folks, is that tomorrow, should there be some kind of retracement, you'd be looking for those oscillator and change line levels to hold. If they hold, then it says today's break above those levels is more than just a one-hit wonder out there. If you take a look at the NDX 100, really the same patterns. It's got a buy the D point. Prices above the oscillator and change line currently at 14608 that suggests higher price as long as price closes above that 14608 level you're 1476 14796 right now the russell 2000 is a td9 count bottom it has a buy the d point bottom it has a Rhodes momentum indicator bottom and right now price is really taking on its oscillator and change line truly at the 2008 level or 2008 if price can close above that that suggests a move higher now the semis have some work to be done yes it is up three and six tenths percent yes it has a td9 count bottom the real key is what's it going to do when it gets that oscillator and change line that's up at 34.83. If price tests and rejects that level, that says, okay, we go back and we at least retest last week's lows. If price closes above it, you have a further rally. Um, in the case of the transports out here, you may or may not get a TD9 count today. Depends on where the close is at out there. But folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White, he's up next. Have a magical Monday. I'll see you here tomorrow on Terrific Tuesday. Take care and have a wonderful day.